What's up, Kansas City? We're down in the Ivanhoe community, and we're here at the Urban Grown Farm and Garden Store. Who do we have here? I'm Dina Newman. I'm the Ivanhoe Healthy Kids Initiative uh, Project Manager, and I'm also the um, Ivanhoe Smart Growers Farmers Market Coordinator. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? Well, today we're participating in the 2013 Urban Grown uh, Farms and Garden Tour our second year participating in this. There's 60 gardens citywide today and tomorrow. Um, we're one of three of the um, gardens that was part of the poli policy makers tour. So we actually just had policy makers stop by to look at our gardens to find out what we're doing uh, with vacant land. We can also talk about a little bit how we're repurposing vacant land for um, edible landscape, for community gardening, for play activities, for meat and green lots. So we're um, just excited to be here today and be a part of this. Um, we have two gardens that we have on showcase this year. What we're standing in front of now is called our Scout Sprouts Garden. And it's actually seven raised beds, four stone beds and three wooden beds, where our Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and our youth participate in learning how to grow from the seed to play. They're able to come out here, they're able to grow things, they're able to harvest it, how to learn about botany, how um, also to learn about entrepreneurship because some of our scouts last year were able to um, uh, take some of the produce and actually sell it and put the money back into their scout room. Right. So we have um, four stone beds here. Right now we're growing lettuces and in one of our beds we actually have um, herbs. And um, one of the exciting things is we have a partnership with one of the schools um, and we're hoping to grow for their cafeteria in the fall, so we're really excited about that. That's awesome. Now, our motto is when you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself. So tell me, how does this and helping the community grow their own food, how does this help the community out? Well, in a lot of ways, it keeps kids off the streets. That's one thing. And it's also connecting the kids back to the land. We're trying to teach the kids that there's dignity in urban farming. And a lot of that history is going to be taught in school with, with our community. So we want to show our kids that no, this is not sharecropping. No, this is not slavery. There's actual dignity. There's actual heroes of um, urban ag. And, and we're trying to connect the kids back to that land so they know those stories. So they'll realize that maybe this is a whole new uh, career for them that they've never right. been exposed to. And that's, you know, that's putting money back in. Um, um, someone from the community who's actually one of our, what we call a farmer market ally, and he's actually working in the, in the land. He lost 20 pounds working in the garden. He's eating healthier. You know, his, his uh, levels, his blood levels and stuff are coming down, so he's doing better, and he's teaching this back to his community, and that's what we're excited about. Okay, now tell us how long um, you guys have been doing this and some of the future endeavors that's going to be going on. Well, we've been doing, this is our second year doing this, but this is the third year of the Grown and Ivanhoe Project, and we've been really blessed because we've received funding from different sources, most recently the Greater Healthcare um, Policy Coalition. Um, Greater, let's see, Healthcare Foundation Policy has given us um, f uh, funds to help us with this project. So, for future references, we're going to be working down at 37th in Indiana. Uh, we have a brand new uh, relationship with them at that corner market. He doesn't have fresh produce in the store, so we're growing here in this neighborhood to put um, fresh produce in his store. And we're really excited about that. Great. Thank you, Ms. Dina. Now we'll take a look and talk to some of the vendors. Okay, great. So this is one of our actually grown in Ivanhoe certified growers, Francine Nelson. Francine is also one of our farmer's market vendors. So Francine, I'd like to introduce you to Francine. Hello, I'm Francine, and this is my company. It's called From Black to Green Thumb. And the reason why I named it that is because, well, I, the way I came into this was I was working for an architectural firm, and I was told I had cancer, lung cancer. And they told me that there was no sense in even uh, doing the surgery because it was both lungs and that it was had it spread and that um, I wasn't going to survive it. But I researched and went around and they did the surgery. So I survived. 
even though it was That's unexpected. Awesome. And being that I survived, I um, didn't have all the skills from chemo and things like that. I didn't have the skills to go back to work, so I had to find some alternative to take care of myself. I attended a program at Ivanhoe um, Neighborhood Council, okay. and um, they taught me. They taught me a lot. They taught me how to check the soil, how to change the soil, how to grow, what what type of um, um, fertilizer to use. We use uh, chickapoo. Uh, we don't use any pesticides or anything on our vegetables whatsoever. And they they grow healthy and well. Uh, I see. Can uh, you can you explain some of the items you have here for well, sale? Well, this right here is collard greens, uh, cucumbers, scallions, potatoes. This is lettuce, butters butterscotch. And this zucchini squash and cabbage. Nice, yeah, everything looks great. Yes, sir. Right. We do our best and they taught us quite a bit. And I have really come to love Ivanhoe. They really have done a lot of different programs to, to put people back on their feet, to help them be able to take care of themselves. And, and the way the economy is, we just never know when it's us, you know? Yes. So um, I support the program and wholeheartedly. And we meet on second Tuesday every month, every second Tuesday. Keep that All right. In mind. We want to thank you from Black to Green Thumb, and we want to thank you for everything you do for the community. Also, let, let me add that Francine is actually taking to this next to the next level. We talk about working in the community and helping ourselves. Francine um, is a vendor here at the market, but she also takes us home and sells from her home up on Prospect for sale. For sale. Um, to, uh, to engage the neighborhood there to um, uh, get fresh fruits and vegetables. And the, what she sells is her money. So this is actually one of her little businesses. What's your address, Francine? If they My address come. is 3527 Pasel. And I set my stand up usually on Saturdays and after this is over I'll be setting it up on Fridays as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So this is another one of our certified Ivanhoe growers um, from Eileen Ellis. Uh, Eileen lives in Ivanhoe as well. She markets here on Fridays but she, and she also does the farm stand. So let me introduce you to him, Eileen Ellis. Hello. Hello Eileen. Can you tell us about your company and what you have going on. My name is Eileen. This is Eileen Sweet Vegetable. This is my market. I live at 37th floor. Um, everything you see here is what I grow. I have collard greens, broccoli, cucumber, potatoes, cabbage, onions, a squash. Looks very beautiful. Thank you. And what inspired you to grow fresh vegetables? Um, very expensive in the store. And also, in where I live at, there's no grocery store close by. So I do it for my family and also my friends, neighbors, and I got it Right, and the name of your company is? Eileen Sweet Vegetables. Thank you, Eileen. Thank we appreciate you. you in the community. Okay, so we're excited to introduce another one of our vendors. This is Chris Hoffman. He's actually not a food vendor. Um, you know, every good market has a little bit of everything. And uh, this, this business is actually called a little bit of everything. So we're really excited to have them. They come all the way in from a lake to sell here because they want to be part of the community. But I'll let you tell, um, let him tell his story. And so this is Chris Hoffman. Hello. Hello, Chris. My name's Chris again. My wife's Angie. Uh, we know Dina um, from the family and uh, something that we started doing uh, basically as a hobby. Um, it's relaxing. Um, uh, we think we're getting kind of good at it, but it gives you a, a chance to um, uh, use colors and, and your uh, thought process in creating this stuff. My wife does the different stuff over here and um, so explain so, some of the items that you have here well a lot of these uh, that I like my preferred uh, material is the uh, Swarovski crystal okay um, and they are genuine um, 
We uh, usually string it on wire because it's more durable, and we use an assortment of clasps. Some of it is uh, stainless uh, coated, some of us is uh, pure stainless. I even wear this product right here. I made this product around my neck. It's 14 karat uh, solid gold okay. with sterling silver and Indonesia uh, tiger eye. All so right. we go from low to high and um, just go to these markets and uh, the great thing about life is you uh, get to go to diverse communities and meet diverse people and um, hopefully uh, make the world a better place. All right, we want to thank you for your service in the community. Thank you. I'm Margaret May with the Ivan's Neighborhood Council. We're really happy to have all these great folks with us today, helping us with our urban garden tour. And beside me is? I'm Dennis Robinson. I'm the president of the Ivan Hill Neighborhood Council. It's really good to have everyone here. We're expecting a, a good crowd today, so um, let's get going. Hi, I'm Elisa Bedsworth. Hi, I'm Molly Fusselman. Hi, I'm Brian Bruns with Capital Federal. Hi, I'm Jim Perkins with Capital Federal. Hi, I'm Maria Porta with Capital Federal. Hi, I'm Joanna Peñaranda with Capital Federal. Hello, I'm Rigoberto Dorado with Capital Federal. Hi, I'm Ivana Chodich. Hi, I'm Brian Rolak with Capital Federal. Hi, Pastor Terry Glenn with Harvest Learning Center Market. All right, we want to thank you all for your volunteer in the community. Have a great day. Thank you. My name is Rose, and I'm with Rose's Shop, and we want you to just buy black. Kansas City, and we have Pastor Terry Glenn here at the event. Pastor, can you tell us a little bit about what you have going on here? Yes, sir. I pastor at 3400 Woodland, and we've opened a market there under a separate um, not-for-profit corporation, Harvest Learning Center Market, and the Kellogg Foundation, along with Good Natured Family Farms, also Menor Legacy Foundation, are supporters that now this is going into our third year, we provide local, healthy, grown food to the Ivanhoe community, and we have lots of different ways to match EBT food stamp purchases, and that match helps us get more healthy local food out to the community. They can come by and get $100 worth of food and only pay $50 on right. their EBT card. Right. Also, we have cooking classes, budgeting classes to help people. We've moved about 10 families into the community, debt-free, and they own their homes. They're not renting from anyone. Uh, they're homeowners. So there are so many things that we contribute to the community for the last 13 years. Uh, a lot of youth programs to help our youth become entrepreneurs and get a path to college. We partnered with um, Crystal Ray School, which is 99% graduates that are going on their way to college. And we're very happy to be here with Miss May also, working together in the Ivanhoe neighborhood community, building uh, community playgrounds and lots of love. Those are the empty vacant lots that we're developing. Okay. So we're very, very happy to be a part of some great things going on. Great, can you describe a few of the items that you have here? Well, what we have today, this all comes from the Amish communities. They grow all their vegetables with no hormones, no antibiotics, no pesticides. And these are the pickled beets and strawberry jam, cha-cha, one of our favorites that sell, pepper relish, the pickles. But now at the market, at the store, you'll be able to find a little bit of everything. We have uh, milk, eggs, cheese that are all from the Amish communities that are all naturally grown, no pesticides, no hormones, uh, beef, whole free-range chicken, fish, basa fish, catfish, uh, turkeys, hams, you name it. We have a whole full market there to get you everything you need. But especially in the season when we can harvest, like uh, fresh peaches we'll have in two weeks when you come back down here. All the squash, uh, greens, kale greens, turnip greens, collard greens, sweet potatoes, all of the things that you have. Now we're sold out of our apple butter. That's another one of the big sellers. Everything you can think of, we have it at the market there at the store. But we are here 
helping to uh, you know get this market up and going at 3700 Woodland in the Ivanhoe Neighborhood Council. All right, Pastor, we want to thank you for your participation and involvement in bettering our community. Thank you. Thank you. all these vacant lots, when we have the potential, the people, and the resources to grow on, water is the issue. Um, and I'll just, because I know we're at time, Beth, across the street, this vacant lot here, we own that lot as well. So our newest project is called the Lots of Love Project, and that's where we're going to take vacant lots and repurpose them for play, meet and greet, or edible landscape. Capital Fed gave us a grant for seven start to build up your community, you can have meetings, you can use that as like a, you know, a party place, but we want to take these lots and do something good with them. So that will be our first, um, they're calling it the True Blue Meet and Greet Lot. So we hope to replicate that more throughout the neighborhood. Do you have any information um, we can take with us about the Lots of Love program? I do not, but I, I will be happy to get that to you. You do have a goodie bag with other information in it about the grown and I'm the Lots of Love project is so new, it's so brand new that we haven't made our flyer yet about that or our brochure, but we'll make sure and we get you that to you. And provide us the uh, ability to uh, communicate with everyone that's here, know who is here, and email that information. Okay. All right, we need to move, right? Because we want we have bags for you. We want you to go past the garden. All right. Um, so, no, right. <laughs> okay. um, back in a way. Is that how you keep people out of there? That's why you said that, right? That's what we tell volunteers who want to get out now. Yeah. Ralph is in there. Ralph. So if you want to go around, yeah, I can show you. Thanks.